welcome uh, Kirsten Neese with Cornerstone Homes. We're out here in the Winchester model at Chickahominy Falls. I have with me today Lori Melton, our design consultant. She's a regular guest for us, and we're so excited to chat with her today. Um, Lori, you have been with Cornerstone Homes now almost three years, right. and you started as a sales consultant and moved into the design role so seamlessly because you have design experience and were in uh, interior design before um, being a salesperson with us. So welcome. Tell us a little bit more about yourself and um, your role in the design industry. Thanks. I love the design um, consultant uh, role that I play here with the company with Cornerstone. And I've been in design since 1985. So when you come to me with to make your selections, um, you're going to find that you'll get my professional experience as well as my business experience and I'm, I'm going to help you and I promise I won't lead you in the wrong direction. Well thank you and that's just what we're here to talk with everybody about today is the design selection process um, and at Cornerstone Homes we uh, are just so glad to have Lori leading the way and she meets with every single one of our buyers and guides them through the selection process. So Lori tell us a little bit about what this looks like. Somebody's so excited they sign on the dotted line and what's next? How do they get in touch with you? It is very exciting time. So once you sign your contract in the particular community that you're in, then the contract will go into home office. It will be ratified by our builder, which means it'll be accepted by our builder. After that ratification day, which usually is two to four days, um, depending on the weekend or not, um, you will receive an email from me that will give you, um, I will state in there a couple of dates of choices. We need to make our selections appointment within and get you finalized within 21 days um, to keep our production schedule um, on time so you'll get a couple of dates to choose from and um, I just ask that you get back to me quickly so we can start as soon as we can so that's great so 21 days make their selections you send them a couple of different choices for dates to meet um, what else do they need to come to that and be prepared for that design appointment it's very important that you want to wear comfortable clothing. It's going to be a grueling day. I'm going to throw a lot of information at you, and so your brain's going to be spinning. But again, I promise I'm not going to lead you in the wrong direction. I'm going to help you make all your decisions that day. Um, I will have snacks. I'm going to try my best to make it fun. So wear comfortable clothing, and it's going to be, be very, uh, the, the meeting's going to be very calm. So, and there's no stupid questions. So any questions I'm totally entertained to take and um, I look forward to working with all of you. So uh, when they sign, on the con sign their contract, um, you're gonna send them the email with the dates. Then you guys coordinate a date and between that point and when they come and meet with you, what are some things that they can be doing on the backside so that they're ready to come to the appointment with you? Right, that's important. So when you receive my email, you're all also gonna receive a lot of attachments that are gonna be cabinet options. There's what we call an MEP diagram. That's your mechanical electrical diagram. That pretty much shows all of the standard options that will be in your house, including your outlets, uh, any recessed cans that are included in the house. We find that overhead lighting is a personal lifestyle choice, so we do not include a ton of overhead lighting except for in the kitchen. So you wanna look at your great room and your bedrooms and see if there's any overhead lights or ceiling fans um, or pre-wires that you would like to add and help you know be a little bit more prepared um, when you come. I also would encourage you before our appointment to come to the community and walk through the design showroom and play with the samples. I'll also send you a list of our community standards. Um, so you will see them labeled in the design center. And again, I encourage you to come before we actually have our appointment just to help prepare a little bit so that um, it's not quite as mind boggling on that one day. Well, and that's great. And now that COVID has finally lifted somewhat, um, and people are getting fully vaccinated, we'll start back with our design, wine and design um, evenings and people can come in or Danish and design mm -hmm. in the mornings. We'll have some open houses and people can come in and walk the models and see and touch and look and feel and take their own time to see what we have to offer. Um, we do have our selection showrooms here at Chickahominy Falls in the models, which is great because mm -hmm. people can walk through the showroom and a actual home or a couple of homes and see the selections in place um so 
uh, comfortable clothing, the MEP, which mm -hmm. has a little key on it and shows you what's standard and um, helps you. So thinking about like if you have a special vacuum that needs to be plugged in. You want to iron in your walk-in closet, so any of those specific Tools in your garage mm -hmm. that you need to plug in. So different kinds of outlets that are specific to you and your lifestyle. Um, those are the kinds of electrical. And then like you said, the overhead lighting, right? Right, right. Um, okay, so now we've gotten the email. We are previewing the MEP. How about, what if I am not sure exactly what design scheme I want in my house? I mean, preview the models. Right. But what else, I guess? If there's any style that you have, any pictures that you could bring, magazine pictures, pictures that you might have of furniture that you plan on using or rugs that you plan on using, bring those with you. If you have any fabric samples of new furniture that you are planning to order or have already ordered, bring those samples with you too. Or pillows, uh, artwork. Um, all it takes is one thing in a room to help design around it. So um, just bring any pictures that'll help, it'll help me professionally to know what your style is and to help you the best I can. Right, those design inspirations, those little pieces, those little nuggets that you love to mm -hmm. help um, make all the other choices around. That's right. Um, such a great blank canvas that's ready for, all ready for you to uh, get working on. Um, so they come in for their design appointment. How, what does that look like? They'll come and meet with you. You select morning or afternoon appointments generally, and mm -hmm. um, so they come in. What's the first thing you knock out? So the first thing that we'll do when you come into the appointment that day is, is I'll talk to you a little bit and let you know that it's low pressure, no questions, a stupid question. I have snacks and to just uh, I'll, I'll let you know where the bathrooms are and we're gonna spend a lot of time together again. I'm gonna throw a lot of information at you. And I like to build by room. Um, your biggest chunks in your house are gonna be cost-wise is your cabinets and your flooring. Um, we will start with the mechanical electrical diagram and get all of that out of the way and then we'll start having fun and pull out cabinets and start building the, the kitchen first with your cabinets and we'll pick out your, your flooring and then we'll move into the, the bedrooms. Great, so with the kitchens, there are a couple different options for the kitchen layouts and sometimes they'll select that with their sales um, manager and sometimes they'll make that choice with you. Right, exactly. So if I see that you've done a price out with your sales manager, I will send you the diagram that will show you your kitchen layout. If there has not been any um, selections that have been made and I'm unaware of any uh, conversations that you have with your sales managers, then I will send you all of the layouts that are available to you in your house. Okay, so great. So then they make their kitchen selection. You not, you talk about the color cabinets that they want and the flooring and the granite. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I need to redo my kitchen. <laughs> I want to come do it. Um, so fantastic. And after they've done that um, and you've moved from the kitchen, then you're going to go into the oh, owner's bathroom, bathroom mm -hmm. and make the selections there. Correct. So, and then we'll look at carpet if you, you know, and decide on what areas. Think about what areas you want to use your hardwood or your LVT, think about the areas that you might wanna use tile and also think about carpet. So wait a minute, LVT, what is that? That is luxury vinyl tile. Okay, so that's what a lot of people are using right now. And a lot of it, and I have several um, selections in the line that are actually waterproof, which is wonderful. So we use, we have offer hardwood, we offer um, carpeting, LVT, tile, just depending on what the buyer wants and what their look and what their um, budget allows, right? Correct. So Correct. a lot of the decisions, you know, you don't ever say, you know, well, what's your budget? And then you start designing. You design and then you make all their selections and then you work from there. Right? Exactly. Exactly. So it's open-ended at the end and I tell everybody to build their wish list. Let's let's put in your house what you want to put in your house and everybody's on some sort of a budget. So if we get to the end, when we get to the end, if you feel that you need to knock out a few things, then that's your choice and I give you plenty of time to look it all over privately and um, decide if you need to remove anything and that's I do that every day. And so they'll have one probably pretty lengthy appointment with you, mm -hmm. two and a half, three hours or so, sometimes a little longer if you have somebody that needs a little more time. Um, and then a follow-up appointment? Sometimes. 
But not generally not, very often. Not generally. Right. Um, sometimes there's a follow-up appointment. If you have any questions, you know, uh, before the, a design appointment, don't hesitate to reach out to me by email or, or phone call. And I can help walk you through some of that before we meet to help you better prepare for our appointment. Well, I'm just getting so excited. I wish I was the one buying the new <laughs> home, but um, this has just been really fun and informative, and I appreciate your sharing your expertise and how you design. Oh, I remember one thing we wanted to talk about was um, designing the houses and making the neutral envelope. Yes. Talk to us a little bit about that. Okay, so we go. I'm finding with our buyers um, that neutrality is big. We have open concepts, and being in a 55 plus community, I'm there, Kirsten's there. We grew up and we lived for so many years with walls everywhere. And now all of a sudden we've got all these open concept plans and people just don't know how to decorate. So I'm here to help you decide how you want to place your furniture and to help you um, wrap your head around that. And um, so I believe totally in neutrality, um, whether you go with the beige neutrals or you go with the gray neutrals, warm or cool, and um, keep it neutral so you can change your accessories. If you wanna go hot pink this year with the towels and accessories, then fine, you know, and change it in two years and go purple. Well, you know, so, but by keeping neutrality, it gives you a lot of options for the future and it doesn't put you in a trend. Right, and it allows for the home to live with you for a longer Timeless. period of time and you're not selecting something that's trendy, that doesn't match or doesn't look great in five years from now, Correct. 10 years from now switch things out, update um, some pillows and then some other accessories and bam, you've got a brand new house again. That's so right. Just keeping everything neutral and with the open concept, it allows your eye to kind of flow through the home more easily without getting stopping and starting at different points. That's right, that's exactly right. Also makes the, the home feel even larger than it, it actually is. Right. Um, well, this has been great, and I really appreciate your taking the time, and I know everybody loves meeting with you. It's one of the most fun parts of buying a new home, and uh, we encourage everybody to come and take a look at our models here at Chickamany Falls, um, and soon to be models in the Grove and in the Farmstead here at Chickahominy. So, a couple more models coming online soon, and be on the lookout for the wine and designs. That's right, and be excited about your selections appointments, and uh, it, they're going to be fun. Don't let it intimidate you. We're okay. going to have a good time, and I'm going to help walk you right through it. Excellent. Well, this is great. Thank you. Bye.